So something that's, and this is kind of like a, a, a first look teaser is, and if uh, for those who were at Aviva World, there was a display um, that demonstrated this, but Aviva has a kind of a, we'll call it a, a, oops, a light offering of our MES database called MES Edge. And so this uses um, the core components of the existing MES, Aviva MES database and middleware in conjunction with Aviva Edge, right? One of our SCADA offerings. And, and really the Edge component is providing the visualization and the historization, as well as the communication to and from those devices down on the control system layer. And the merging of these two kind of solutions provides kind of an out of the box uh, MES Edge offering that allows users to get started with a MES system without having to invest in the large, you know, capital costs that are required with a typical MES system, right? If you want to start small, or maybe your operation is already just small, um, this MES Edge offering really allows you to get uh, in at a lower uh, commercial uh, you know, uh, bar. And the nice thing is, is because it's the same MES database, as you grow or as your application grows, and maybe you grow out of needing to use this MES Edge uh, offering, you can reuse a lot of the visualization as well as the entire MES database that you've already configured with that model-driven MES that I talked about previously. So there's a migration path if you have started out with MES Edge and maybe have grown, you know, based on you know facility size, you've added lines, you know, whatever the case may be, you can grow with the initial investment that you put in if you choose to start out with MES Edge. Um, some things that you'll see that are coming out with this, that'll be coming out down the line with this product is um, application templates being that you'll see some front end templates that are available uh, that users can use um, and as a starting point to minimize that development and, you know, kind of kick, get the ball rolling much quicker. Um, in terms of integration with the cloud or, you know, a lot of our customers want to um, do, you know, different types of historization, dashboard, uh, supervised machine learning analytics against their data sets. Um, and that for us, a lot of that takes place into the cloud. So there are going to be a future enhancement to, you know, connect and integrate to our existing cloud uh, for this MES Edge offering. And then module administration. So this is really a nice concept where we basically use uh, Docker and container technology to help administer uh, maintenance of applications. And basically how that works is you publish a copy of that application up into the cloud. And as you make changes to that application, you publish that new change to the cloud, and then the devices that have those containers will be will recognize that, hey, there's a new change, and uh, reach up, grab that new change, and the application will update. You know, so if you have, you know, think of it in simple terms, think of it as your uh, your phone update, right? your iPhone or Android phone, right? When their respective companies publish a new update to your phone, right? It goes up to some cloud service, right? Somewhere and your phone recognizes, hey, there's an update. And, you know, while you're sleeping and your phone's charging, right? Your phone will connect, grab that new update and install it, right? Same kind of concept in terms of conceptually how this module administration will work in the future. Now, this, this, this feature already exists with Edge at as a standalone SCADA offering. So if you are an edge user um, just for SCADA or monitor and control, there is this capability of you know, managing all these instances of edge. Uh, you can do that through a central location um, and administer those changes much easier rather than going from each, each node that is running edge and 
and facilitating those changes.